You have forgotten the uh, month of May is actually Africa Month and various organizations, institutions and individuals have lined up activities and festivities to celebrate the continent. Likewise, Karu Contemporary African Art Project will present an exhibition with artworks from countries uh, like ourselves, South Africa, Angola as well as Zimbabwe. To tell us more, we are joined in the studio by the project coordinator, Ijuama Oche Okeke. So nice to have you. Thank you very much, Leon. It's an absolute pleasure. Welcome. So, um, the Kaulo Contemporary African Art Project has been running for five years. What's the purpose of it? Tell us a bit more about it. Um, the project is basically a platform uh, to create engagement between South Africa, predominantly, and the rest of the continent. Uh, because often in the visual arts sector, we find that South Africa is looking inward. So, this is a platform for um, curators, art managers, um, artists, you know, generally practitioners in the sector, to um, engage with other practitioners across the continent and in other countries around the continent. Yeah, it's, and um, it, has it worked? I mean, over these five years, have you seen a growth in it? Do you see people uh, enjoying the cultures of, of, of the different countries here on the continent? Yes, I think so. Um, in the past four years, actually, this is the fifth edition of the exhibition. In the past four years, um, we've had over 100 artists from about 20 countries around the continent. And that has given um, sort of curators the opportunities, particularly South African curators and curators from other parts as well, to come together and put an exhibition together and have artists from other countries within the continent engaging with South Africa. Yeah. So I think it has been a good thing. And how do you go about choosing the artists that are actually showing this, their, 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 their art? Yes. Usually we have a curatorial um, concept for this year, we, we have uh, the concept of sort of looking inwards, identity, the African identity. How do we see ourselves? Where are we going? Who are we? You know, because all, often we are gazing towards the West in terms of defining our artistic heritage, sort of. So um, we're now looking sort of inwards. So the title for this year's exhibition is Being and Becoming, Complexities of the African Identity. So we're now looking at ourselves. Yeah, you know. <laughs> fantastic. I mean, look. I, I mean, I think it's fantastic. We've got some of the uh, some of the portraits there on the screen at the moment, and I mean, this is this is really good work. Is it quite an honour for for an artist to be chosen for an exhibition like this? What does it do for their career? I think it does a lot because um, the, the project has been supported over the f past four years by the Department of Arts and Culture and we've had a partnership with the UNISA Gallery. And the UNISA Gallery has a, a, a very robust collection. So artists that are part of the um, exhibition could have the opportunity to be part of the UNISA collection. Yeah. So that's one of the um, advantages of being part of the project. But what is that? Let me ask you a question. What is that? It looks like a cake to me. It's amazing. It's it looks like a cake <laughs> of a pregnant lady. A it's sculpture. <laughs> it's abs or, or, or a sculpture. It looks fantastic. Mm. I mean, when, when you look at the different themes, because obviously there's, there's different themes that are covered. I mean, you touched yes. on it briefly. Talk to me a little bit more about the themes uh, of, of what we can expect there at the exhibition. Um, as I said, we're looking at identity. You know. So it's, it really is focusing completely on identity. On, on the African identity. You yeah. know. And, and it it's also uh, carries on from the conversation from last year, which is Towards inter Intersections. That was the title of last year's exhibition. So this year we're continuing the conversation about you know, how we create those linkages amongst ourselves within the continent, because we're often working in you know, different silos. Or, silos yeah, yeah. So it's, it's, it's nice to have that kind of linkage, you know. Um, how is South, South Africa connecting with the rest of the continent creatively? It, 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 yeah. it actually would be very, very interesting once you get all the artists from the continent together and you make a comparison between, say, South African artists and how they define themselves and Angolan artists yes. and how they define themselves. Do you see many comparisons or do you actually see the, um, the different identities coming through and also the different issues that affect the different people in their own respective country as opposed to the continent? Well, we see that there are sim similarities as well as you know, um, things that are peculiar to each, each region. Yeah. So often artists are looking at, you know, generally they look at what's happening within their societies. You know, that's what they, they express in their works you know, in different ways. So there, there are certain things that are the same you know, in terms of economy, in terms of maybe uh, um, social sort of uh, um, norms. Um, uh, but I think they're basically looking at the same things, but there are things that are 
you know, a bit, a bit different yeah. in, in their work and the way they approach their work based on the cultures in the different regions, of course, and their own experiences. Yeah. All right. So we've got this exhibition. It's on the 25th of May um, yes. and it's running, it's running for a month, but there are also some other activities lined up. Just quickly talk us through that. Yes. On the 25th, we have the opening at the UNISA Gallery, which yeah. is the main opening, the launch of the project. And uh, on the 26th, we have a walkabout with the curators. We have two curators, one from Angola, Paula Nascimento and Rafael Chikuka from Zimbabwe yes and um, on the 27th we have a panel discussion with an exhibition opening at the Visual Art Network of South Africa New Durham Fontaine yeah. uh, they are one of our partners this year we have a, a number of partners um, and then on the 28th we have a little cultural festival at the AA2 um, Lifestyle Center in, in Mufolo Soweto so we have a, a number of satellite events as part of our exhibition this year Fantastic. I wish you the best of luck. <laughs> Thank you so Thank much. Thank you again. for coming in and yeah, talking to us pleasure. this morning. And uh, for more information, you can visit that website on your screen right now. It's kauru.co.za, uh, karu.co.za. You'll be able to find out more about that exhibition that begins on the 25th of May. And it sounds like something really yes. worth going and having a look at. Uh, Ijuama. Uche or Keke, thank you for coming in and talking thank to us. Thank you so much for having us, Liam. Absolute <laughs> pleasure. All right, let us take a break here on the program. When we